So, I don't know how am I going to create this video, so I've decided to create this video as a voice. Because I've written a large paragraph of notes and I haven't come down to like how, how am, I, am I going to organize this whole concept of this whole, um, you know, this whole notes that I'm going to do. And um, what literally made me to make this video is um, I just recently watched this video and, um, and it started to make me question about life. In general and I've been having me time lately but this video is actually um, you know the, the video that I've watched like two days ago really questioned me about this topic I know the topic the video title I named trapped and the reason why I named trapped because I, I did I wasn't sure how am I going to bring this topic up uh, without coming across being negative or being biased on this topic. So this topic that I'm going to talk about is um, it will be talk about baby trapping um, and also it can be unplanned pregnancy because I felt like the, the video that I just watched recently um, the video title um, is uploaded by Stephen Molyneux which he receives callers He's a philosopher, he's one of the biggest philosophers on YouTube, like to talk about social problems and everything. And one of the callers, uh, who, who's a man, and find out that, you know, a friend, um, you know, with a couple of uh, sexual activities, turn out that she's got pregnant. Now, why he hasn't wear any protection is because she mentioned that she would not get pregnant due to the condition that's been diagnosed from the doctor which made that guy who raw dogged the girl without protection and now she got pregnant and she called this baby as a miracle baby now i know what you're thinking uh am i gonna bash you know on women for manipulating men into unplanned child or baby trapping or am i going to make a meat tab video or red pill video about this topic. I've come to conclusion that I won't talk about MGTOW or red pill topic at all because there's a common theme about men's right or women's right, left and right or you know whatever what you know guys name. The common theme is that whether you're men's right or women's right, feminism or men's right uh, majority of them are coming from uh, single parenting or unhappy family and they probably be biased to lean on one side of the story and to me I come from a dysfunctional family as well so it's easy for me to lean on uh, the other side so I've decided not to make that sort of videos uh, let's make it clear um, this topic all the videos that I'm going to make from starting from now on the person who's qualified to talk about this sort of topic, about you know, you know, or, you know, the social family problem, will be those who are coming from a great family settings. Those who are coming from great family settings, without coming from divorce, happy families as well. So, so yeah, um, why I want to make this video, like you know, baby trapping or unplanned pregnancy, is because I, I wanted to dig out more of the social problems. I have a better understanding um, in my work field. Uh, which I wanted to get into social work. I know it's not the best topic to talk about it. I know it's nothing that much related about it, but definitely there's a lot more. I just wanted to know why there's so much single mothers, um, or you know, single who, who end up as single mothers is because they haven't chosen a compatible father or mother, or I don't know. Like I just want to dig out more. I know that's that's one of the factors, not the huge factors on single mothers. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, let's begin the topic uh, because I think the topic is really important to talk about. I have no idea how many minutes this am I on right now. So right now I'm on four minutes and uh, forty minutes. I'm sorry that I've taken the introduction for this long because I felt like this topic it will be a lot better to talk about this in a long uh, video. Okay, so in you know in the past I I, I made a couple videos and um, I wanted to link the that sort of ideas and everything and see how am I gonna um, 
um, put this video uh, back together. So the video that I made is a matriarchy and a patch understanding uh, matriarchy to a patriarchy society. Um, and I felt like um, when I when I made that video, I realized that you know one of the feminism wave, I think the second feminism wave, um, it was introduced birth controls, allowed women to decide when or whatever they'll become a motherhood and they can be career driven. And in the past, I've made a video about journey to abortion. All right. Uh, I was very fascinated because I was going through, reading through abortion book and I was just really fascinated. So, please, <laughs> and I have like a couple of like, you know, not my personal, like can be my personal experience and my friend's personal experience as well. So, I wanted to puzzle all this up in a big bubble. I am not going to lean on, as I mentioned before, I am not going to lean on who's right or who's wrong, who's men men's right or woman's right or I'm not going to mention that I'm just going to come down uh, as possible I can uh, by the end of this conversation all right so uh, so I made those two videos and now I, I feel really comfortable now so obviously when I was doing my studies on my you know my own research studies I can't say school studies oh by the way everything what I'm saying on uh, today's channel on like no, actually on today's topic I there's no re there's no this is not for classwork I haven't studied it, it's just me pretty much went for a couple of uh, internet and just, just listened to a podcast and share my own opinion and personal friends and uh, their stories as well. So I know when I um, made a video about an uh, abortion video, um, knowing that you know birth controls or condoms are not 100% protected, right? Um, you still can get pregnant, uh, you know, wearing a condom. And as well, um, if she's on a birth control uh, for seven days as well. So even if a girl is on a birth control, there's still a chances of the girl to get pregnant. And same as a condom as well. Um, so you just reduce the chances, all right? I, and I know, um, I know, I know, um, this is a while back ago. I know like two, three years ago, uh, a girl who got knocked up by one night stand and her lifestyle went went like um you know she was a student and she was a very very um career driven and out of the sudden when she got the baby she went downhill and she had suffered mental health and everything and i felt really sorry for her um that's one of them and as well i've i've met you know i've i've met i've done a video before um about this topic and i'll say it again is that I've literally, I remember four day, four nights ago, I was dropping my dad to um, to my aunt's place, and when I was on the station across the other side, there's a ticket machine, and I saw a homeless woman with a three or two year old daughter, um, just just all the luggage and everything is on the pram and everything, and the homeless woman just fed you know baby formula milks to their daughter. And there was two uh, protection services. So two protection services is like it's like a security guard monitor safety for the train tra trains. And I was I was gutted. I was like, Jesus, this is reality of the world. And um, yeah, what is going on this world to get to that stage? And that is the reason why I wanted to understand more. So I think um, according um, so I've. So one thing that I haven't made a video about is um, um, teenage girls or just young adult girls, they have a life goal plan. So a life goal plan is that they will stick to this plan. All right? At a certain age, they want a kid. At a certain age, they want a husband. At a certain age, they want a house. And they will be very demanding because they make this goal, they make these life choices and uh, create choices as well um, to have that goal. So to have that goal, and I and I could see uh, one of you know my couple of my family members who gone for that goal, and I could see how determined and how how much driven they are um, to achieve that goal. And that is something that most guys, all of us guys, don't have. Like we we do have goals, but we don't have large goals like that. You know, having a 
family or having a kid at a certain age or a certain time. But girls in other hand, women in other hand, they have a goal, right? So when I watched the Seth and Molly New, you know, the girl, she's in mid-30s. She's very desperate to have a child. Um, that's the come across, that sort of, you know, view that has been, you know, showing us audiences about. But I would not not want to talk about that sort of stuff and yeah i know one of my family members i just recently made a congratulation video vibe a wedding vibe and uh yeah um my cousin is the is the is the man um is the husband right and he him and the um girlfriend at the time you know the the, the husband's family um, was not accepting her to be part of the family or any engage or wedding and they came down to conclusion deliberately um, having a child to secure them two together and I made the congratulation video um, wedding vibe about that video um, but behind the story of them getting married is they deliberately um, get get pregnant and they get preg um, they get married um, it's due to a social class reason the reason why the family wouldn't accept her but that's that's something that I'll talk about another time so um so yeah um look you know like um, you know girls have in control of their bodies and they, they obviously they have like taking like you know they're taking pills or they're taking contraceptive and uh, emergency pills, abortion, they have to go through clinics, whether it's vacuum, uh, whether it's like, um, you know, um, gosh, I should remember this because I made the abortion video. So, yeah, you got the vacuum, you got the, yeah, the taking out, I don't want to say that word, but yeah, insert the clamp and taking the baby out um, in some sort of ways. and. By them to get abortion, it actually declines their body immune systems as well, and it, it, it brings a lot more complication health down the road of the woman's life. So, w regardless whether it is um, uh, abortion or pills, uh, the women's are the ones uh, that are losing the most. Um, but many, many on the other hand, you know. They can run away, they can do this and do that. But at the end of the day, women are the one who loses the most uh, whether it comes to abortion, or whether it comes to um, baby trapping as well, or um, unplanned pregnancy. Um, not, not great to encourage men to run away or anything, but there's many reasons why, okay? And that is something, I don't know how am I going to find a conclusion on this whole video, okay? Okay, there are many reasons um, about this topic. There's no right, there's no wrong. Um, yeah, and I mentioned before, like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a problem, there's a high significant numbers of single mothers. Um, I'm not here to uncode all the problems, just wanted to have a slight idea of what's going on in the world. Um, yeah, so, I was fascinated when I see my friend who mentioned about up in Germany that uh, most of the women up in Germany who are, you know, um, who are all on birth controls and and they don't believe in protections. Um, so basically, often there's a lot of raw dogs going on up there. Um, that's what my friends are a bit um, going through that. I remember when I was in high school, there, there was a lot of girls who are, who, are, who are on the contraceptive pills as well. It's scary just to know that because, you know, young and high school girls was already on pills. But it makes sense, you know, you know, age is not, it's not defined what the sex age is, you know, now it's a lot younger and younger people are doing that. I remember one of my classmates, one of our good friends, I can't say classmate, one of our good friends at the time, um, she had no money to get abortion and the teacher just pretty much gave her the money and took for the abortion. She really wanted to have a child. Uh, that is something it's very interesting to know. Now I know the fact that like um, I mentioned a couple of the stories. I think the one that really made me wanting to make this video is I have two of my friends and when they started their relationship 
um, within a month, right? Then they get really worried about their partner who missed who missed their period, and it really scared them because. Especially the one who recently, um, who said to me, is like, Will, I'm so scared, I'm so frustrated, I can be a father. And I'm just there, I was like, Jesus, what's just going on? And he's been telling me, you know, the girl just, you know, doesn't have her period, he was really scared and everything, and I'm back in my head, I was like, gosh, you know, <laughs> I didn't know what to say at that moment. And yeah, so it, it, at that point, and while I was watching Stephen Molyneux, that's the main reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, so yeah, like um, taking medication is feels so real for women or men to think they'll get pregnant. It's like playing Russian roulette, to be honest. I know one of my friends told me about, you know, doing this sort of stuff is like playing Russian roulette. So, this topic... You know, I don't know how I mentioned about this, but um, maybe I'll repeat this again. But it feels like, um, you know, if they do this, like, you know, men and women, they are a lot more casual sex, a lot more multiple partners than ever before in history, right? Uh, thanks to invention of condoms and uh, birth controls, right? But I think, like, correct me if I'm wrong, women, all right, uh, and girls, all right? I think when women go gone for a stage, they've been broken up multiple times with multiple partners and couldn't find the right partner or right father uh, to be with, you know, uh, you know, to start a family. So this, they decided to have an ox baby or a, not, uh, um, knocking the baby up. And it's, uh, it's, it's a shame to hear that because I don't know are we men uh, being immature or are we living a different society at the moment uh, just to see that but anywho that's one of them um, people will say you know when uh, girls when they um, get knocked up it's beneficial for them so because they have the like, government welfare and as well at the same time they got the baby daddy will come you know have the baby support as well at the age of 18 so girls could see that as a financial point of view many on the other hand will say like you know I, I, re I read this book and I'm pretty sure when I read one of the articles on the um, on the yeah on the website so I've, I've read an article uh, so I read a book and I made this video while I was at my um, matriarchy patriarchy towards the end of it I read a book about monster and about this man, a father, who kidnapped her daughter and impregnate, impregnate her uh, with multiple kids, uh, where they including miscarriage and everything, uh, in a dungeon. So actually, when I go through, you know, like men try to baby trap their girl, they usually have to, you know, like um, thinking of kidnap them. It's essential of way, it's like, you know how I said to you before, it's like, you know, if women have multiple dates and multiple men and they couldn't kind of have fed up, and the only way to keep that man, even though the man hasn't agreed for marriage or having a kid, is to trap him. And the guy, you know, I read the monster book, um, you know, um, the guy would do the same thing um, just to keep that girl, particularly this girl. And I find it really interesting. And you know, it's a funny thing, like, you know, certain cultures, they, they will have like, you know, like, um, you know, they have like this sort of, um, some cultures would do have like, uh, geez, I got to still scroll around to find out where is this topic about. So some cultures will have birth, they have birth controls and everything in their country, but um, it's taboo to take that sort of tablets uh, or taking that sort of procedures to not to have a child, it's against the culture, tradition, and it it's up to God to decide how many kids do they have. Um, 
you know, I know, I know, I know, I know some cultures, it's particular China, because I'm Chinese, um, is that the, for, for, for the, if they're going to bring, you know, uh, a daughter-in-law in their family, they will do a screening test, um, you know, obviously education, where the family comes from. And one of the things that they would come out is, um, how many abortions do you go through? And if it's more than two, then no matter how, how smart, intelligent the girl is, the family wouldn't step the girl into the family at all. Um, it goes to further um, screening tests by going to, you know, going to the hospital to find out, um, getting documents down and see if she has been to a clinic as well. So this is a big topic. That's why I said to you guys, I don't know how am I going to make this whole video about. And that's why I say it's great to have this video. Um, you know, to, to just just to cover my face out because literally I'm just going scrolling down my computer screen to see this whole thing. But what I, I can say is that you see, I've mentioned to you guys my mate's story and the girl that I, I've known got knocked up by one night stand that a man that never came by. The reason why I'm fascinated about this topic, whether whether it's unplanned pregnancy or whether it, you get you trapping the baby, or whatever whatever it is, right? For me, I I came from an unplanned pregnancy. Right? My father didn't want me um, when they first find out that my mother's pregnant, and this is this is something that people should understand, right? When one of the parties who does not agree and they try left they left with no choice and try to make it happen to be a good role model of society try to maintain the relationship but at the same time they felt like they're not in control they're being cheated or they're being lied or whatever the reason is right you know my family, my, my, my parents tried to be together and they wanted to divorce immediately. Um, at that time when they, preg um, when they, you know, when my mum was pregnant, they weren't even got married. But when they pregnant, when, when she got pregnant, they were forced to get married. And that is another part for baby trapping or unplanned pregnancy. You'll come to that route as well, alright. Um, when you see that, and my parents wanted to divorce multiple times, and one of the, you know, one side of the family wanted to hold it in, whether it's mother or the father, right? Whatever the circumstances. In my circumstances, my mother wanted to keep it in, wants to keep me, and everything. You know, my mama, my mama has to go through a lot of battles and everything, right? But twenty years later, when they divorce, the biggest. Burden is, is not the parent. Like the parent will have the burden of child support and look after the child. The biggest burden is the child growing up knowing that, you know, uh, one side of your family, your, 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 fam, your parents, he chose not to have you. And it's, 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 it's hard to swallow that, to be honest. I'm at the age of 27, so my parents divorced when I was 7 years old. Uh, it's 20 years now. Um, my life is in, isn't great. I didn't turn out to be what other n regular, normal kids, original kids would be like. And if, if I had a choice to go back in time, I wish my parents did abort abortion me. Because to go through this unplanned pregnancy, to go through all this um, abortion, I know it sounds horrible to say this in front of you guys, but you have to understand this, right? To have a child is more than just 
bringing up a third person into your life. You know, you have to look after the child at the age, you know, till the age of 18. There's money, you know, you, you put on hold on your career, you know, you, put, you, know, you sacrifice your freedom, and, you know, you, there's a lot, a lot of things going on. And that's why I said to you guys, I, I don't know what is the solution on this whole thing, but what I can tell you is that being a child, growing up, knowing that one of them may be just one night stand, or maybe just, you know, um, unplanned pregnancy, or wanted to abortion you, or your father or your mother walked away from you because they weren't planning to do that way. And it's it, it hurts to hear that and see that. And I don't know, like I said, I, I wanted to, you know, to unfold a bit of the, you know, side of the single mother or, you know, broken families about it. And I think that will be one of the partial part of the reason why single parenting or, or mothers or, you know, like why the family structure is collapsing. And also, I will say, like, you know, like, you know how we hear, you know, back in, you know, you know, back in your grandparents' age, is like, it's sex before marriage. And I, I still believe that that is the best way to, you know, to tackle this whole, whole thing down. Like, I think if you have sex before marriage, at least you guys be honest with each other, like, you know, what you guys want to do in life, right, then, you know, snuck around or hide around, baby trapping and, you know, not even married or not even gone in a proper relationship and having a child, it's a lot more, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot more painful. Um, but if you had sex before marriage, I still believe that the traditional way was the best way, like sex before marriage, I think you'll get a lot better outcome than today's um, outcome. Yes, I do, I'm aware of raising a child and the cost of living is really high at the moment. But I think both genders should take into consideration and instead of, you know, just doing shady stuff like baby trapping or unplanned pregnancy or keeping a child, I think before you get in a relationship or get into marriage, I think you should think twice your action what you're doing. Whether you are guys doing a safety sex or risky sex, I still believe that you guys should be cautioned, should minimise. I know it sounds too good to be true to say that. In reality, it's not like that. And I made a video that, um, and I haven't, t uh, I haven't made that much of this topic, but I made a video is about uh, eighty three thousand. 83,000 is the number of, a, you know, in Australia there's like six or seven states, right? So, they, so annually there's 83,000 abortions only in three states, right? That is Northern Territory, South Australia, and Western Australia. That's 83,000. But hang on, those are the least amount of the population. We got the biggest of the biggest, you got like Queensland, we got Victoria, we got New South Wales. The largest population it still hasn't been calculated. And I reckon, right, don't get me wrong, I reckon there's more, like 83,000 just on those three states with the least amount of the population. Nowhere near, right? So if you combine those three states, like com combine all those states together, there will be 600,000 um, abortion easily every single year, right? Whether it's contraceptive, emergency pills, all of them, they'll be all included. But, to be honest with you guys, like, this topic is very deep. I don't know when to stop or when to switch it off. I don't know, am I on the right topic to talk about baby trapping? But I felt like a woman has to sacrifice a lot, you know. When they, when they get in a relationship, they have to get on pills. They have to get on, you know, they're very cautioned. They have to get on pills. They're the one who's going to suffer. They're the one who has to, to do everything. And us guys, it feels like, oh, yeah, you know, we have to do risky sex behavior because it's fun, it feels good, um, you know. And, and, and I mentioned to you before, you know, Australia would have had 600, um, you know, abortion rate in every single year statistically. You know, we, and, you know, to know that, you know, like, you know, girls have to go through a lot more than that. They have to go to maternal death, you know, their, their bodies, you know, their, their health 
it will be a lot more complicated down to the, the track of their life. You know, they have like abortion pew, you know, they have to go through abortion, that's money, you know, and they have to go through like, um, you know, contraceptive pills or emergency pills. And I've spoken to one of my mate um, the other day and I said to him, I'm not going to name that person because, uh, you know, it's, it's something, it's very, very, um, I was very surprised when I hear him that. And I, and, I, and I said to him, if you had a casual sex or if you had a one night stand or if you had a short term relationship and she become pregnant and she wants abortion and the next question is, would you pay for her bill to get abortion? And he said, if, if he doesn't want her to get abortion, she's not going to pay a dollar. He's not going to pay a dollar. And I felt like when I hear that, I was really shocked because abortion is not cheap, you know, depending on which one it is. Obviously, there's a vacuum, you know, there's, you know, there's, um, you know, the, the procedure one. And it's money, you know, and, and girls are the one that's going to suffer the most of the pain, regardless whether it's just abortion pills, whether it's just, like, contraceptive, sorry, um, emergency pills or just contraceptive pills. Girls are the ones that are suffering the most. But even if they do have the child, girls have to put everything, like, they have to give up their freedom and career just to look after the child. Girls are the ones are, are the one who sacrificed the most than guys. So, to my fellas out there, I know you guys won't listen to this, alright? Um, and girls out there, be mindful of, of what you're doing. It, I know it's a Russian roulette. I know you guys love to have fun. Um, you know, just just have fun and doing that. But at the end of the day, you're killing a life. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a pro-life or anything. No matter, no matter what anyone's going to say, at the end of the day, you killed an innocent human being. Um, that's all I can say. Um, I don't know how I'm going to come down to the conclusion of this video, but what I've told you guys is that I am not men's right or women's right or me to have red pill on this certain topic or at all because I've tried it to kill it down. I don't know how long this video is, but anywho, there is 32 minutes. Anywho, that's the topic. I think I've nailed from my perspective, so it's going great. Um, if you have, if you actually managed to watch the video through by now, please comment uh, below because I wanted to know what your thoughts. And please don't don't show any hate or anything. I'm just here, just want to know um, because I was that person. Um, I was that the category of unplanned pregnancy as well. Um, and I think, I'll, and I'll, I'll say the final word, all right? All right. According to my father, all right, I think, I think, I think, um, I've mentioned, I've touched a bit of this, about this topic. It's like Russian roulette, and it's not going to have a baby, this and that. All right. Um, my father told me when they when they had the intercourse, um, he he still doesn't believe at that time. Um, he still believed not wearing a condom and have sex wouldn't pregnant at all because it feels like for him maybe it feels like. It's just a, it's just a plastic over, you know. It's just plastic over your penis, just a protection. It's just a plastic. It feels like it's just too simple. It's like too good to be true, right? A pill or a plastic over your penis. It, it feels too surreal that it's gonna make a protection for not having a child. And um, I guess my dad made a wrong choice. You know, my friends would tell me, you know, wearing a condom doesn't feel good uh, in, during intercourse, so doing ri risky sex behavior um, makes them feel good. But it's up to a girl's choice whether they presume taking birth controls, emergency pills, or abortion. 
they are in, in control of their body. At the end of the day, no matter what you're going to say, baby's trapping, she's doing for the money, she's doing for the welfare, whatever the, it is, at the end of the day, it's her choice. And that is the end note of the video. I think, I think that is the best way to say it. Um, yeah, man, like, think twice, all right? Think twice when you meet up with, you know, a girl or guy, whether she's lying, she's trying to cheat on you, manipulate you, or whether she had, whether she believes in pills or not. Be careful, be mindful, because this is the sort of stuff will end up like that caller from Stephen Molyneux. He's regretted. And he doesn't want to see that child being looked after by the mother on her own. And he even said it. That's the mistake he made and he'll go for it. But everyone in the comments below is saying that he's not going to last long. And I could tell you that because my family went through that same stage as well. Um, yeah, so that is the end of the video. I think that's the proper way of ending the video. Right.